I don't know if I have sort of stylistic things I would pick out. It's more of an approach of thinking about photography and interactions and just looking at, at situations and engaging with people that probably unify it in an attempt to be direct in a way. So strip away all the excess, try to maybe distill moments or ideas of images into uh, simple compositions that don't seem too arranged or too permediated. For the performances, it's Usually uh, the camera is set up and then I'm at a certain distance and there's an action that happens and it's recorded. And then throughout this recording, there'll be multiples and there'll be redos and reiterations and then one will kind of be the crystallized moment of what I was aiming for in that situation. And then for the um, sort of more, the, the accidents I was prepared for in form of still lives and landscapes and other situations, it's really just an openness for looking at the world and sort of wanting to record it and just being interested. The performance aspect in my work comes from maybe numerous sources. One being an interest in dance, which I think came from growing up and my mother being a dancer. Yeah, there's this thing about how, how I can unify various sources or various ideas in the body and wanting to make it a body that's both myself and but also anonymous and abstracted. So these performances always pick up points of maybe labor or these repetitive um, unending movements and try to um, fuse them with maybe sculptural ideas or ideas that speak more clearly to anonymity or a somewhat contorted body or a broken body or a blurred out body or a body at a distance and then these performative actions are always linked to a specific location which may be a location that's um, historically relevant because there was an occurrence there, or it might be relevant because there's remnants of um, architecture there, or it might just be a completely open expanse with nothing remaining, in which case the performative body is meant to activate or somehow link through histories by incorporating elements or um, these sort of fragments of historical um, labor and historical movements of bodies and kind of recontextualizing them and reliving them and reinvigorating the landscape through these movements. So the performances are less meant for an audience, but more for a camera. And then it's a very sort of intimate type of thinking through landscape and thinking about history through movement. And then once I'm back in the studio or once I'm back to printing the work and arranging the work and sequencing the work, it really becomes um, a different process in which I'm actually looking at what this performance was, because most of the time while I'm doing it, I might have an idea of what the body looks like or what I'm doing, but it's not really geared towards one sort of aesthetic statement. It's more just a continuous process. And then the second half of the process is um, more or less viewing the work or viewing the results and then starting to cut that up and recontextualize that with the other photos to start to um, place them in maybe a constellation or a dialogue that starts to inform one another. The theme of this show and this body of work specifically, um, the title of the body of work is Born from the Limb, which is a project that started in 2018. Um, it's rooted in South Carolina and Georgia and through self-portraits and landscape images and archival materials, it's addressing uh, histories in form of early slave trade and blackness and the way that the, um, the sort of early forming of the United States is really crystallizes in this region of commerce and trade and expansion. And looking at these specific aspects, I'm thinking about monuments and histories and the way that histories are told or not told. and in this context using the body to um, both address visible histories, highlight invisible histories, and sort of mark spaces and landscapes that are to a certain extent scarred, even though it might not be visible. So it's really the entire project is thinking about um, vacancies in American narratives and how these can be filled or how these might be visible in sort of fragments that are on the wayside or things that are um, forgotten or sort of the things that are heralded and how they both affect the, um, 
this shared conscience, this shared American identity, this really speaks to um, my understanding of history as it's retold and forms our actions nowadays.